Hello there, this is Nopnem. Welcome to the third episode of my command block desktop. Last time I showed to you the desktop icons and now we are able to modify them. Here you can see the icon for Minesweeper. The texture was made by Skybreaker99. It also has a name which is displayed as a subtitle and now I'm able to right click it to open the context menu. There are four different options we can choose from by left clicking. Let's copy it first. The copy we just made is displayed on this sidebar. To paste it you just have to right click the screen and select paste. Next I will rename it. As you can see a keyboard appears on the screen and the name of the icon is constantly displayed as a subtitle. Once we are done we just have to click here and the icon has a new name. The option move is nearly the same as copy with the only difference that the old icon is deleted. Last but not least we can simply delete a selected icon. And if you right clicked something by accident, you can just click on this red X to close the context menu. So let's take a brief look behind the screen to see what happens there. In the last video I showed to you how the right and left click detection works. Using that method the player activates these command blocks which will then activate the actual mechanics. When a context menu is opened, these layers of stone are replaced with sponge, so nothing else but the buttons of the context menu can be activated. Then the actual context menu which is stored over there is cloned to the correct position. To move, copy or delete an icon, the corresponding blocks are simply cloned or removed. I won't go more into detail, but that's basically it. Next time I will add an option to change the background and the color of the screen. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time, bye!